Welcome to another deep dive experience with the Burns team. I'm Laura Burns, and on behalf of Jason and myself at Keller Williams International, we want to welcome you into our latest listing. Come on in. This is 420 South Madison, Unit 115, and we love this building. This is the Casa Serena building. There's just about 50 units in this complex, and we're in Unit 115, which is a west-facing, first level ground unit, two bedroom, two bathroom, oversized unit. It's phenomenal. So as we're taking this deep dive, you know what I like to do is tell you everything I know about the home. So first of all, as you're walking in, you have a very spacious entry. I want you to see that how wide this entry is. It's really quite large. My hands are, are spread out here. We also have the hardwood floors, and I wanna point out that the hardwood floors are in all of the entertaining areas, less the kitchen and bathroom and bedrooms, because that is important. If you're on the second or third floor in this complex, the HOA does not allow you to have hardwood floors. So this is great because you're right above the garage and you have that upgraded flooring. I love when you come in here, you have this huge entry closet and all of the closets here have been custom designed. So you have a hanging bar on this side, you have this great cabinetry with then of course the pull out drawers, which are so nice. And then all of the shelving here. Really lovely, lovely cabinet space. And as we come into our entry, we're now into our living room. As you can see, this is such an open floor plan. Fabulous concept for this two bedroom, two bathroom home. So the hardwood floors are continuous. You have a wonderful base molding all the way around. And then of course, great ceiling height with the crown molding. And a lot of these units had what was a fireplace here. Our client bought the property with the fireplace removed and it already has this great architectural wainscoting. So this would be a fabulous location to put in a flat screen TV or create maybe more of a mantle feel so you could really develop out the area but have some architectural integrity. What I do love about this property is that so much has already been updated. So of course, all the sliders here, this slider here, which faces west, is actually a dual pane slider. Opens up right out here into this great balcony here, which you can have a barbecue on the per the HOA. So our client had a barbecue out here, which I love really great electricity out here as well. So great opportunity to kind of sit out and just enjoy what Madison has to offer in this South Madison location. I also love that our client finished off this this unit with, of course, the custom shutters. And not only are they custom shutters, but you can notice that you can redirect both the top and the bottom. So that's one of my favorites. If you wanna keep the bottom solid, still get light in on the top. A great way to utilize the light throughout the day. As I said, not only is this slider giant and open um, and updated, but all of these windows here are dual pane and open. As you can see, it gracefully enters into the dining room. The dining room is extremely spacious. You could set a table here that could fit eight. Hardwood floors, base molding, your wainscoting here with decorative molding, and then a chair rail. And then of course your updated window with the multi-used shutters are here as well. Crown molding, and then what I loved is our client kept this. They kept the scallop, which is original, original to the 1970s built of the home and the property, and then you have this great cabinet space here as well. So you could make this as a bar, you could make this as a china hutch, you could always have someone make cabinet fronts here and really utilize this space. Now coming in off the dining room, you do have a pocket door, which you can shut off the kitchen, which is always wonderful, just in case you're entertaining and haven't cleaned 
clean the kitchen. I love pocket doors. And welcome into this kitchen. Very light and bright because this is an end unit. You have no walls here on this front and side. So you have two freestanding walls. You're getting so much more natural light than the average two bedroom. Now you have another wainscoting all the way around here with the chair rail molding. Great space to create an interior eating environment. We're in a laminate floor um, on the bottom here. That's our surface. Then of course you can see how much cabinet space we have. So much storage and cabinet space. Over counter, under counter, drawers. Then of course your pantry with pull out drawers. Everybody knows I love a good pull out drawer. And then more pull out drawers. I love these. I mean, cans, you have access to everything in the back. And then of course, additionally, your water heater is right in unit and um, very easy to access should there be needed. This uh, refrigerator comes with the property. It's a top loading freezer. And as you can see, you do have room for a larger refrigerator should you wanna put that in as well. Storage above the refrigerator. And then our client did one of my favorite things, built-in microwave, so it's off your countertop. Then your oven is right down here. These are GE models, additional storage here. And that brings me across to the range. This is a four burner range. It is electric. This is an electric building. So you cannot have a gas range. And then of course you have additional space right above your hood and all of this great storage. And then finished off with the GE dishwasher. I, another aspect that I love is that our client has a really clean tile palette here with the nice backsplash that's decorative all the way up. And then again, another updated window right above your dual porcelain sink with, of course, your faucet and spray gun, but you're looking out on greenery. So you have so much natural light in this space. It's really great. Additional cabinet space over here as well as lower cabinets. So now that we've seen all of the, what the kitchen has to offer, let me take you down the central hallway. This is actually where we're going to enter all of the bedrooms. So again, your central hallway, you can close this off should you not want anyone to see. But what I love is, is that you have a bathroom right here. This is ideal for not only guests to utilize, but for one of the bedrooms to utilize across the hall as well. So let's go on into this updated bathroom. As you can see, we're up with a more modern clean tile finish here on the flooring as well as reflected into the countertops here with your ribbon and decorative ribbon backsplash. Of course, they really love the wainscoting look so they did that on the cabinet fronts here as well. Really sturdy cabinets, feels very sturdy. And then you have additionally, what I love is you have these pull out drawers. What I also really love is that they put and a socket right here. So for someone who blows dries her hair, I can have my hair dryer in here, plugged in here, and it's not on my countertop or my toothbrush. I love having that. Notice the updated recessed lighting right above us. Additionally, there's a built-in little makeup mirror here as well. So many fun features in this. This is also on a dimmer. So if that's too bright for you and you want more of a night light setting in the middle of the night, you have that option. Full tub here with updated uh, tile work, again on a, uh, on a diamond pattern on the interior inset with the tile all the way up to the ceiling and updated glass finishings on this um, shower. Behind this door is additional storage space. So everyone wants that linen closet. Well, here you've got it. A ton of linen space here on the upper and of course, lower cabinets as well. So now we're gonna enter the secondary bedroom. The secondary bedroom has a carpet finish here, just so you know, a fan above us, Really cozy, squishy carpet, by the way. It really feels cozy on my toes. Uh, base molding and crown molding. And again, the updated dual pane windows and shutters. So these are great. See how they open on the bottom? So how easy that is. So you know what I do and for natural light and some privacy as I normally go like this, but then I'll open these up. 
so that way I get more natural light. I love the fact that you have custom creation with those uh, shutters. Now here is your closet. As I said, the closets are all custom designed. So you have all these modules that you can change the shelvings. You have the bar handle on this side, bar over here, bar over there, bar over there. So great space in this closet. And these closet doors are updated. So it's really nice to have something clean. It's not the older 70s. With that being said, all these doors have been updated as well as the handles and hardware. That brings us over to, of course, Thank you. 
morning this morning, but I um, see that there's really good food, and then there is the incident in the morning fall. I love this whole spot area, and then it gets more deeper to see this. So, I'm going to be 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 now you can have shallow from your up from the below, so if you want to just take you off to the cloud, you can always access and come on out. And then there's different kinds of help, how you know you're in the back and you can use it in the that you can utilize in some sort of a way. But you're allowed to go around over the last couple of months to get. You can take this with a point of your community people and see the main question of the building. And that's how you are to be going. While I was going to the point of the point of the point of the 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 point of the the point of the 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 point of the the point of the the point of the 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 the